Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have something a little bit different. Um, in the past, I've tinkered with uh, the old PCs, and uh, we've actually gone ahead and managed to get Mac OS running on this one. Uh, 10, 10 15.4 is current at the moment. So in order to get it to work, I've had to do a couple of mods. Uh, so we're using the 2.5 inch version of the NUC 8 i7, I think it is, um, which comes with uh, Intel graphics, Intel Iris graphics, um, what is it, six, I wanna say 655? Anyway, it's better than what I had. So we've put in way too much RAM. <laughs> I think it's got 32 gig, it's got 32 gig, yeah. And over here we've got the um, PCI Express card um, with an, ad it's an adapter essentially for a, a Wi-Fi card that would normally be in a MacBook Air. I think it was anywhere from 2013 through 2017 uh, when they were separate. Model numbers there, BCM 94360CS2. Uh, and it, it's, I've been running it for the past week, week and a half, two weeks now, and it's been rock solid. It has been amazing. Uh, we did get a kernel panic to do with uh, the GPU, but I have a feeling that's because of the way I had it sort of connected. Um, but now, yes, what, what is it in? This is not your ordinary NUC. This is a... Um, I can't remember what it is. It's a fanless case, essentially, though. It's quite nice in the way that it's fanless because it sits in about two metres from my head. Uh, we've got... So we had to get um, external antennas. So many things have changed to this poor, poor little machine. I feel bad for it. Um, and I've just gone ahead now and wired in the... Um, Bluetooth component. Uh, the two data lines apparently can't run through there for whatever reason. Uh, so they just pop in down here to the USB header. Run out of black heat shrink, but that's fine. That's fine. So one of the one of the main reasons for doing this was to uh get uh, continuity working, I think. I don't actually use continuity on my other Mac between my iPhone, so... I guess it's more just for the sake of completeness than anything, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. But yeah, these are quite impressive NUCs. So it's a Generation 8, which is uh, as of, uh, what is it, the 10th of May, still current. Uh, in Apple laptops, um, the MacBook Pro 13 inch, I think was recently updated, uh, updated and has the, uh, the lower end two port version has, uh, the eighth gen processor still, uh, thankfully the four port higher end model has, uh, the 10th gen processor, but I guess I didn't see the need to update the, uh, the two port. That's fine. I'm sure they have their reasons. Probably because they're going to get a bit of overlap if they're not careful. But yeah, this is um quite a nice little build. A few of the case, antennas, Bluetooth adapter, uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter. Yeah. And it runs 10.15, which is fantastic. Apparently 10.14 does run a bit better, but for what I use it for, which is essentially, um, well, at the moment, it's just just folding at home and uh, Rosetta running um, protein calculations for the world. Um, and I tend to run, uh, watch videos on it. So it's a, it's a glorified um, Cody setup. <laughs> Boy, I spent a lot of money on this. That's all right. And so I've got, to, I've got to save the economy from the coronavirus. Um, yeah, so it's quite nice. I like it. It's a good little nook. Sits in the corner. Doesn't make any noise. It's good. Uh, would I do it again? Uh, yes. I'm looking forward to the release of 10.16, of course, which will break everything and I'll have to start again. But that's half the fun of it. Um, 
in all honesty, I was running uh, Windows for a while, but for some reason on my TV, which is a 4K Samsung something or other, 2018, it didn't like high DPI mode very much, and the icons half the time would shrink. Now, I don't know if that's because when I turn my TV off, it cuts power completely to it, and then the NUC is like, well, there's nothing here, let's just output it 640 by 480 to nothing. Um... There's any reason I can think of that it would do that. But anyway, it was very annoying coming back and having all your icons really tiny. And I'm much more familiar these days with Mac OS and uh, Linux. So there you go. And that's the story of my life. Hope everyone is well out there. Um, but yeah, not too much else happening at the moment. It's a nice looking knock. Glorified Raspberry Pi. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Go get outside, enjoy it. No, wait, you can't go outside probably. It's awfully sunny today. We can still go outside here. Down under. At least to go to the shops. It's nice. Yeah. Oh well. For science! Or whatever this channel is. Uh, retro Gaming. McRetro signing off. Out. Signing out. McRetro signing. You know what I mean. Till next time.